Hi, my name is Alan Prost and we're talking about doing pulmonary function testing today and this is part four how to do an MVV or a mandatory or a maximal voluntary ventilation. All right. So this is where we're going to determine how effectively our patient can blow air in and out of their lungs. Okay. So the trick to this test is that we want the patient to be breathing in at about 50% of their vital capacity. So that's about two liters for most of us at a rate of about 90 breaths per minute. So how do we coach the patient for this? Well, what we're going to do is, like we always do, is we're going to get them to put the mouthpiece in, so they're breathing through this filter. We need to get their teeth around the outside, get a good seal with their lips. They're going to be wearing their nose clips like usual, just because they're attractive. And to make sure all the air goes through the filter and the machine. Now this one, we got to work them really hard, so coaching is really important. So we're going to have them breathing along, just gently, through the device, and then when I tell them, they're going to pick up the rate. So breathe hard and fast, hard and fast, hard and fast, keep going, keep going, in and out, in and out, in and out. And we're going to coach them for that. We'll use the machine to time that for 12 seconds. So we want 12 seconds at maximum expiratory out output, all right? So 12 seconds, all right? So we start them off nice and easy, just getting used to sitting there, make sure they have a good seal, and then we'll coach them. Breathe in hard and fast, hard and fast, keep going, keep going, hard and fast, hard and fast. We'll start the timer, and we get them blowing hard and fast for the entire 12 seconds, okay? It's important to coach vigorously and not let the patient slow down or back off. We keep good, vigorous effort for at least 12 seconds, all right? So let's see what that test looks like, and that is a MVV or a mandatory volume ventilation, all right? Okay, so let's get the patient hooked up and get them breathing through there and uh, quite quickly coach them to, okay, start breathing hard and fast, hard and fast, hard and fast. Come on, harder, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, breathe hard and fast, breathe hard and fast, keep going, keep going, breathe hard and fast, keep going, keep going, breathe hard and fast, breathe hard and fast, keep going, up and down, up and down, keep on, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop now, keep going, keep going, and that's enough, you can release. Okay, that's the end of test. So in our analysis of this test, like we've said before, we want to make sure that we've got a, a good rate pointed here by the black arrow here. We want a rate of about 90 or so, very close to that, and we want a tidal volume of about 2 liters per minute or 50% of their vital capacity. So when we look at these, you see that we did three tests, but one of the tests actually there was a cough and the patient came off the machine. So we're not going to use that one. So we've got two tests. We're going to report the maximal value from that test. And that's what we conduct the MVV or the maximal voluntary ventilation. Thank you very much. I'm Alan Prost.